Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this uh, intro to CSS. So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's essentially a language for specifying how pages are styled and laid out. So in the previous video, um, we we brought in some HTML, and well, you probably noticed that it looked really, really bad. And that's where CSS comes in, because CSS can make things look beautiful. Um, it's important though to say that it's it's easy to learn, or well, at least relatively easy, um, but it's pretty hard to master. You know, there there's people in the industry uh, that that have worked for over five years with CSS and still struggle with it every day, including me. Um, so, but I mean, you, you don't have to be a master in CSS to become a good front end developer or uh, to make react applications so in the next video we're getting into the the css basics um, after that we're uh, taking a good look at css flexbox um, css flexbox like i showed you before like the 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 layout of a page um, css flexbox is really good in um, in allowing you to control the layout of your page so um, I took this example, but for example, with, with, with Flexbox, you can just say, okay, I want the side really to be on the left side. I want the footer to be really at the, um, like the, at the bottom of the website. And I want to have the images nicely aligned on a row. That's what Flexbox can do for you. Um, we also learn about media queries. Now you might've heard about responsive design before. And if you haven't, that's no problem because you probably, we probably all have uh, encountered this problem. You visit the website and uh, it looks all pretty nice until you visit it on your mobile phone. For example, I would take an iPhone X, boom. And it just becomes like almost impossible to read. The font is too small. It's pretty much just the design as it how, how it was shown on your desktop but then on a mobile view, so you have to zoom and it's it's still just really hard to navigate. This web page, just like it says right here, is an example of non-responsive design. And that's not a good practice because, well, if you have mobile visitors uh, visiting your site, they will have a problem um, accessing certain content on your site. So I think a good example of uh, how a responsive website does look like is this website by Qualcomm and as you can see this is just a desktop site which looks nice um, but as I shrink down the screen width you see boom you see here's a breakpoint where we go into a sort of mobile view right we have the links just disappeared we have here this profile icon that goes away as well and we've got this mobile menu and you'll see that even though we are on, let's say an iPhone X, things still look good. So that's what media queries can help you with to make things responsive. And then at the end of this section of the course, um, we will make a um, design in our web browser using HTML and CSS uh, based off a UI UX, at least a design, uh, created by a UI UX designer uh, and it's this one uh, it looks pretty nice and we are going to make this so at the end of this section of the course you know how to make this so I see you in the next one